I have a large phylogeny. This is of Diptera, and I want to make this ultrametric. Now, I won't be using really any fossil calibrations, anything like that. I'll simply scale it to one arbitrary value of one at the root. This is for temp uh, quick solution to get the ultramatic tree. Uh, now, is, for this, for making phylogenies ultrametric, there's never been very many options, unfortunately. Uh, there's one called rates, which is spelt R8S, and that's it's difficult even to find a, a copy of that, as I remember. There's some, um, and also it's limited by size. Now, tree PL is the only really option I'm aware of for doing the larger trees at the moment. And as I, I have here some old notes, and it's uh, as I say, it's, as I state here, it's a temperamental software, and it doesn't really give you any. It will just crash without giving any indi indication why. So I'm going to try this today and see if we get a crash. And if that's the case, we'll have to figure out try and figure out why. But I'll just um, I've just copied some of these the commands over from uh, all the project. Now I'll try and run this. I'll just uh, quickly adapt these and run them on the current phylogeny. So the this is the phylogeny we need to. Uh, convert to old ultrametric here. That's the file, name of the file. Uh, a few parameters. Now we need to set the set the root node here. So we need to find um, the root. The out group is Boris Hymalis. So we'll insert that name here, and we just. Here we just need the name of any 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 other terminal in the tree, and that will give us the uh, root node. So let's just uh, look at the file and get another name. So these are commands. So I use the echo command, and here's the quotes. So it'll just uh, write all this text into a text file, and this is the, the format used by TreePL to take the commands from. And just set a MRCA, which is most recent common ancestor of the out group and anything in the in group. Um, I'll just so we go to this is a taxon name, which it doesn't matter. This is just uh, a name; it's not really used. I don't offhand know the, the name of Dipto and the out group, so I'll just leave that and I'll just set the name of the out. Set the name of the output here. These are so a forward arrow. So these are all these commands will be written into this text file named this. Then we run TPL on this input file and pipe the screen output to to this, which we don't really need. So let's make this command commands file first. As you can see here, and here we go. Let's just try TreePL and see if it see if it will do us any favors and run, or see if it will crash, which is pretty common. And we should have a. 
I think we are lucky in this case since we're on, on first attempt. Yep. Okay, great. And as you can see it's now scaled to the value value of one. So we've set the we set the node, which is the root node, using the most recent common ancestor of anything any in group and the single out group. Assigned it a name which is doesn't not the correct name but it doesn't matter. It's just a string but it's and then for that node, just set the value of minimum one and maximum of one, and that's the value you can you can see here. So let's quickly plot this and uh, we use a let's use Archaeopteryx, which very very scalable. Uh, I've never come across a phylogeny so large that Archaeopteryx doesn't doesn't open it. And you can see we have now a ultrametric tree. So ultrametric immediately recognizable um, um, the Regular tree, I, can't, I don't remember the word you term from offhand, but where the branch lengths are just according to the model and the amount of evolution, you get um, this essentially is, it won't be all lined up. But the ultrametric tree, you can see the, the terminals all come to a single point, which is supposed to correspond to the, the current current era. Uh, so for now, we'll just set this value here of, of one. Uh, when I get around to it, I'll you can set um, calibration points for for various nodes. Uh, but it's, it's very for this size of tree, it can be rather laborious to do. Uh, but for now, we have an ultimate ultrametric tree, which is uh, preferable in in certain downstream uh, analysis and. Uh, People often prefer to see this, see this format. Okay, so that's a quick one today, uh, job done, uh, and until next time.